Hi Stephen, 2-0 uh, reversal against uh, Glasgow Rangers B-side tonight. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game, please? I think two real moments of quality. Um, I've decided that game in the first strike into the top corner and then uh, a real moment of brilliance and a fantastic finish. Um, I've unfortunately left us. Uh, again, with no points this evening, um, it's before the game, we get two more in injury knocks. Uh, Dan Carmichael and Todd Deverdale failing fitness tests, added the lap. Uh, Sam Gormley suspension, Russell Curry still out injured, and, and Ben still away on holiday. So, just unfortunately, we don't have the, the strength and depth to be missing five or six quality players and um, expect to get the results. And it's disappointing, it's sort of getting a bit repetitive, but it's been the story of our season. I can't think of too many times that we've had, um, you know, nearly even a full strength squad, but to be coming here today and missing five or six players, um, it was always going to be difficult. Absolutely, and we've got a crucial game coming up on Saturday uh, away at Cowden Beef. Uh, how many of those players do you think are in with us out for that game? Well, that's a disappointing thing. I genuinely thought we would have had two or three more back for today, and it's the, the fitness test, but um, we'll have to wait and see. You know, again, um, being optimistic, maybe three, four, um, being pessimistic, <laughs> you know, potentially none of them, and that's just, it really is a case of we'll have to wait and see. The injuries aren't. Um, aren't light. Todd's went over his ankle, um, Russell's hamstring. Um, we've also got uh, Carmichael then um, between his, his hip, his calf, and his Achilles. Um, yeah, so to be honest, then it's a real case of wait and see. And uh, yes, it's not the answer you usually want, but it's not the answer we want either. It's, it's certainly frustrating. Yeah, and going back to tonight's game, um, 2 0 against Rangers B isn't the worst result, I guess. Um, They've put fives and sixes past other teams. What's, how do you think that stands overall? Listen, I, it really was two moments of quality. Um, I can think of maybe two or three other saves our keepers made. Um, and there were good saves in fairness to Ali, but um, they've had the majority of possession. They'll do that against every team they play this season. And they're missing a few players as well. They've had players playing last night. Um, and obviously the well-documented Alex Laurie injury. So um, it's not to say they were full strength, but um, I think it's fair to say that certainly with the squad and resources that Rangers have. Um, when they're missing three or four players, they can certainly replace them uh, like for like, whereas unfortunately, uh, we just can't, be, can't afford to miss so many players of that quality. And so, boys done really well, worked really hard, restricted Rangers. Um, but yeah, ultimately, it's another case of, uh, of no points. And uh, unfortunately, that's where we are at the moment. Yeah, and finally, just a wee word for Ali Adams, came in at uh, Civil Service Strollers to make his debut, played again tonight. Uh, what do you think he's bringing to the overall squad? Experience. Um, he's a really strong personality. He's a very good keeper and he showed that across the two games. And uh, I think we've shown that we'll try to strengthen. Um, if there's a player on the market that we can bring in that we feel is strength in the group, we'll do that. Um, the board have been fantastic in allowing us to do that. And listen, um, hopefully, as I said, we can reward that with being able to assemble some sort of a, a close to full strength starting now in the very near future because September is a massive month for us uh, for very, very important games. And the sooner we can get everybody better, the sooner we'll be able to see a true reflection of what we've actually built here. Until then, um, we're just sort of sticking square pegs and round holes and um, that's the absolute truth of it, which is frustrating, but um, I'm sure you'll agree it's, it's where we are. Yeah, absolutely, Stephen. Thanks very much indeed, and uh, congratulations, by the way, for your news in the week. Um, we hope all goes well with that as well. Thanks very much, Ian. Thank you.